How's it going, everybody? Chris Cards back through the mail. Monday, five returns coming to you today. And our first is from San Fran, California. Hope everyone out there had a wonderful weekend. And let's see who our first return of today's through the mail Monday is going to be here. We've got, looks like some vintage here. I've got my letter of request to Mr. Rich Morales. Rich Morales, eight-year career, seven of those with the White Sox. He had a couple of years with the Padres, utility infielder. Very light-hitting utility infielder. How light-hitting, you ask? Out of major league players since 1930 who were not pitchers and had at least a 1,000 at-bats, he had a better batting average than only two of them at 195, and he only had a better slugging percentage than one of them. I would give you the names of those guys, but you wouldn't know any of them, so that's sort of irrelevant. And there you guys go, Rich Morales. Uh, he must have had dirt on somebody to be in the league for that long. Maybe he was a really good fielder. I'm not sure how his fielding percentage was, but uh, he never started more than 100 games just once in 1972, 110 games in his final season with the White Sox. And there you guys go, Rich Morales. Let's move on to our second return. Our next return hails from Phoenix, Arizona. And we've got uh, Jeff Acero on a Leaf card. Man, I love those 93 Leaf cards, as well as a 92 Fleer and a 92 Tops. Very nice return from Jeff, who goes through past pros. Pretty cheap, $5 a card, but he uh, doesn't... He signs a lot of cards uh, that aren't entered through past pros, and I think I did not send him any fee or anything. I sent him four cards. I only got three back, so I guess if that's a trade-off, that is fine with me. Looks like he kept the triple play card, which was crazy because that's probably like the best designed triple play card in existence. All the other designs were hideous. Uh, yeah, Jeff Facero, 16-year career. He was a pretty old rookie at 28 years of old as he uh, finally caught on with the Expos in 1991. Uh, started for a few number of years with them as well as the Mariners before heading into the pen as a lefty, a big lefty. So 16-year uh, career, six of those with the Spos and eight different teams after that. So on to the next. Atlanta Metro, our third return. And we have we have Dave Beard. Dave Beard, who did not have a beard. Similar to the drummer of ZZ Top. Dave Beard signed the 84 Tops base athletics card. And, of course, the traded version on the Mariners. Very nice. Uh, kind of a ho-hum career. 19-20 and 20 overall record with a 4.7 ERA. Spent seven years bouncing around there. Spent his final year in 89 with the Detroit, and there you guys have it. Not too many baseball cards of Dave Beard out there. I don't think he pitched much to garner a baseball card, but there he is. Signs through past pros, as you see, and of course, uh, he's uh, he's 63. He's got a pretty active Twitter account where he has some interesting political views. And uh, that's it for Dave Beard. Let's move on to our next return. Fourth return hails to us from Chattanooga, Tennessee. And we have we have Doug Simons. Doug Simons, who played for the Mets in 1991 and the Expos in 1992. Signed very nicely there with a uh, Bible verse inscription. Pride of Pepperdine. Got into 42 games for the Mets. They got him in the Rule 5 draft from the Twins, which means he had to stay on the team for the entire year. And, of course, as a young Mets fan, I got to watch him pitch poorly for the Mets in 91 before cutting him. And then he went to the Expos and uh, had like a 23-24 ERA in seven games. And that was it. He went back to the minors and stayed there forever, although he had some really good years in the minors. He never got a crack at the big leagues again. Looks like he kept a couple of my cards here. Kept the rookies card, unfortunately. I would have liked to really get that one signed. But, you know, it is what it is sometimes in the game of TTM. Sometimes you don't always get back what you send. So he was a coach at uh, Covenant College. Go Scots. As of a few years ago, I'm not sure if he's still there or not, but there you guys have it. Doug Simons, awesome return from him. Nice to get some of these early Met cards signed. Let's move on to our next return. And our final return of the day comes to us from Louisville, Kentucky. That's where they make bats. Some of the bats, anyway. There's all kinds of bats now in the Major League Baseball. And we've got a 71 Tops card of Steve... Steve Bry, but this one came from Cotton Nash to finish off the dual signed 71 Rookie Stars card. Very nice. Cotton Nash, one of only 13 players of all time to play for both the NBA and Major League Baseball. He was drafted in the second round. 12th pick overall by the Lakers in 1964. Played for the Lakers from 64 to 65 as a small forward. Went on to play with the 
Warriors in 65 and then went to the ABA and played for the Kentucky Colonels for a couple years. And then he started baseball in about 67. Got into 13 games over three seasons with the White Sox and the Twins. And that is pretty sweet. He now uh, still lives in Kentucky. Still probably a big basketball fan. So really nice to get this card finished off. And that is a great way to wrap up wrap up this week's Through the Mail Monday. Hope everyone out there had a great weekend. Not uh, not feeling uh, not feeling good these last couple days. So hopefully it doesn't show too much in my video. But voice has left me a little bit. But uh, i got a jug of water next to me. So I think that's been helping me out. So... That's it, gang. Hope everyone enjoyed this week's returns. Hit that like button. Hit that subscribe button. That helped me out a lot. And uh, thanks, guys, for joining us. I'll see you later on in the week with some more videos. And, of course, next week will be another Through the Mail Monday. So stay tuned for that. Thanks for watching. See ya.